Hello and welcome to Shelsley Walsh, the world's oldest motorsport venue. Now, since 1905, this place has been making motorsport history. My name's Amanda Stretton and I'm here with GKN, official partner of the Panasonic Jaguar racing team. Right, Toby, let's take a look at this hill. So Toby, Chelsea Walsh is the oldest motor sport venue in the UK. In the world. In the world, 113 <laughs> years old. How did it start? It started by some guys who were involved in the Midland Automobile Club struggling to find somewhere else to have a hill climb because we got kicked off the public roads. Somebody found this place and said, you know what, if I cut the brambles back, maybe it'll work. And on the 12th of August, 1905, it did. And we're still here today. So what was the challenge back then? The challenge was really the, the British motor manufacturers proving to their potential customers that their cars, 10, 15 horsepower, could even climb a hill with people on board and passengers. And in fact, the guy that set the fastest time in 1905 did it with four people on board. You know, it was proof that it could work. And here we're going to be in August 2018, 113 years later, to the exact day on Sunday the 12th of August, when Mitch will come with a, with a Jaguar Formula E I-Type. So originally then, this was an a engineering challenge, if you like, rather than necessarily a speed challenge. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. The winning time at the very first Chelsley Walsh in August 1905 was 77.6 was seconds. But then very quickly, the British motor industry, the international motor industry, then sort of thought, you know what, well, I can prove that my car is better than your car. And once you've got two people in competition, you're away. You've got a race. GKN have obviously had their technology in almost every car that's probably ever competed here at Shelsley, certainly the majority of them. How important is it for manufacturers then to hold records at places like this? It's as important for the manufacturers as it is for, for the drivers to take the record. Of late, we've got a hybrid record and a pure electric record because we're moving with the times just as we did here at Shelsley 113 years ago when these cars could actually climb a hill. So Toby, we're now at the S's. This is presumably where you can actually lose a lot of time. Absolutely, it's the steepest part of the hill. It's one in six here. So this is bottom S. You need to take a wide entry. Literally the apex is just here on the left-hand side, but there's actually a crown in the road and the car is positioned in exactly the right place because if you go any further over to the right, it's all gonna go wrong and you're gonna be going into the greenery there. You've got what looks like a moment to set yourself up for, for top S, but in reality, as you know in a quick car, that just doesn't happen. But look at the banking here. I mean, there's sort of holes in the side of the road. I mean, you really do need to be very precise on where that car is positioned. Absolutely, absolutely. And none more so than when you come up to this final corner of the top S. There's a, there's a manhole cover there. So you really don't want to hit that manhole cover with your right wheels because it unsettles you and bounces you around and it could put you into the bank on the left. Then you sort of give yourself lots of space to go into the top S, a quick right-hander, opens out, let it drift over to the left-hand side and you come out of here about 45, 50 miles an hour and now you've got the finish straight. So now you need to use the car's power, the car's torque, get your head down, literally get your head down to save the drag of the aerodynamics. You come over the line, the relief is apparent, get on the brakes, and that's a thousand yards of Chelsea Walsh 